didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes, our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. Welcome back to Elmore Gymnasium on the campus of Alabama A&M University. The second semifinal moments away from starting as Florida A&M University, the Lady Rattlers taking on the Lady Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff. I'm James Red, and thank you for joining us for Florida A&M, their first opportunity here in the Southwestern Athletic Conference to walk away with a conference title in volleyball. And they are very good with uh, very good players, but they're going up against an Arkansas Pine Bluff team that made it to the finals last year and due to COVID-19 protocols was unable to compete for the conference championship. And they are led by a young lady who is a transfer from VCU Robertson, and she is one of their better players. But the key is they play with a lot of grit. On the other side of the court is Dominique Washington, one of the best players in the country, and she leads the nation in kills. She's ranked third nationally when it comes to kills, and she is one of the best. Stand by. When we come back, we'll get you ready for Florida a and m and Arkansas Pine Bluff right here on the SWAC Digital Network. DIY means having the right tools, but at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery is a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. For back to school and back to the field, head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with Safe Pilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh, 87. It should be between 5 and 12 digits. Ah, busted. This is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. And welcome back to live coverage of the 2021 Southwestern Athletic Conference Volleyball Semifinal. Florida A&M in white taking on the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff in their traditional black and gold. I am joined now by our analyst for the day, Rose Majors Powell. And Rose, this is a matchup between two teams that are very contrasting styles. To very contrasting styles, you have Arkansas Pine Bluff who communicates and talks and really uh, grab hold to the momentum and try to push you back all the time. And then you have um, Tham Yu that is loaded with experience out on the court that they have the five grads that's being able to bring a lot to Tham Yu's offense and their defense. 
Akameen was the server for Pine Bluff. Washington, and a good block there by Pine Bluff, but it goes out point for Florida a &M. Attacking there was Dominique Washington, who was the MVP of the conference, who did a, has done a great job. She's a transfer from Georgia Tech, third nationally in kills. And that tip does not go over point for Ford a &M. That was a misconnection. The hitter was up and down before the ball even got to her. Long to continue to serve for the Rattlers. Big hit and a point by Jaden James, a young lady out of Chandler's, Arizona. Kayla Robinson, the transfer from VCU, now serving for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Dominique, and this time she does not hit it well. Good block by Pine Bluff. The block was sitting there. She was trying to hit a crossbody shot, and the ball never reached, the, reached, the, reached over the net. Robinson still on serve, tied up at two. Good block by Pine Bluff. And looks like it hit. It was on the outside of the antenna, so therefore it was illegal. Point for Florida and M. Serving now Corey Diego. Out of Belize. Uh, check that for Florida and M. Iram Ukar from Turkey. Good rally point, but a good block by Emerald Jacobs for that Florida and M. That was a good block. She was all over it. She was a single block by herself, and she went ahead and took the hitter. Bukar still on serve for the Rattlers. Good block again, point for Pine Bluff. Serving now Haley Gomez, all-conference performer for the Lady Lions. And that hit goes for a point. Good point for Florida and M. Isis Williams on the kill. Serving now, Dominique Washington for the Rattlers. Good kill and point for the Rattlers. Emerald Jacobs, the young freshman out of Houston, Texas. Setter did a good job holding the block and delivering the ball to the hitter that was only battling against one block at that point, and she executed it. Timeout is called. 6-3, the score in favor of Florida and m Seeing the head coach, Kokim Yomaz, for the Rattlers. He does a good job of recruiting internationally. Yes, he has quite a few internationals. That has been his trade on that. And then done a good job of getting those grad students to come too. Got to gotta be difficult trying to blend everybody together. It is when sometimes. They come on campus. And, and sometimes whenever you have those international kids, most of the Turkish kids do speak English. So therefore the English side of it is, is pretty easy for them at that point. Because sometimes when you go and get some of the internationals, they don't speak English very well. Washington still on serve for the Rattlers. And 
that one is out point in favor of Florida a and I think that was just a miss hit. She just kind of, the ball didn't fully get on her hand, and she just tried to put that ball in. Staying on serve is Washington. And a big hit and point, Destiny Thomas, the young lady out of Brobridge, Louisiana, with the point. Akameen will go on the side. And coming in, Vanessa Collins to serve. Collins out of Honolulu, Hawaii, far away from home. And a good thing over and a point once again for Destiny Thomas. Yeah, she just pushed that ball over and the uh, FAMU's defense person just could not handle that ball properly. Down by two are the Lady Lions. Good block, but does it stay in? No, it goes out point, Florida a &M. Substitutions coming in, Abuke Korabayek for Florida a &M, number 13. Serving now, Dominique Turner for Florida a &M. Point, Florida a and Point, Jacobs. Yep, that was a heads up play. She was ready to block or hit the ball if it came and it came over to her. She could just push it right back down. Lead is expanding, nine to five now for the orange and green of Florida a and First time in the SWAC tournament as they are their first year in the conference. And that kill opportunity goes awry by Diego. Another point for Florida a they're up by five. And a good push across by Thomas, and she's really keeping her team alive. She'll go on the side and get a break as Robinson comes in. Yeah, she pushed that ball to the corner. Nobody's home at that. Serving now is Nyla Ellis for Pine Bluff. Big hit and a big kill for Florida A&M. Yeah, that, that was a big swing right there. Jasmine Robinson, the outside hitter, freshman out of Fleming Island, Florida. The defense person from Arkansas Pine Bluff tried to get out the way, but it just clipped her. Jacobs serving. And this time the hit by Robinson goes into the net point for Florida and m They seem like they are cruising and in good rhythm. Timeout call by Arkansas Pine Bluff Chelsea Lucas to try to stop the momentum. Yeah, she's trying to get them to refocus and reset at this moment. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll see if Arkansas Pine Bluff can get back into this first set as they're down by six. Stay tuned. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stan. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. DIY means having the right tools. But at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery is a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Back to live action. Emerald Jacobs 
redshirt freshman from Houston, Texas, serving for the Rattlers, looking to punch their ticket to their first final in the SWAC volleyball tournament. That one is long point for the Lady Lions. Gomez back in for the black and gold. Serving is Zion Smith. Keeping it alive. Point, Pine Bluff. Looks like I think there was a double hit somewhere. Yep. Get a dig across. Good save oh. by the Lions at a point. A little bit of miscommunication by the blockers on FAMU. Couldn't decide on who was going to get that ball. Naya Ellis doing a great job just to get it across the net for the point. Hits the net, but get across. Big hit, but a good save there by Ellis. Oh. Point, Florida and m Blocker in the net. They're calling one of the blockers from number 14 in the net. Haley Gomez. And Gomez now moving to the far side of the court or near side on our side. Serve goes long. Sir, serve error, point for yep. the Lions. That's two missed serves by FAMU within the last three points here. Nicole Akami to serve for the Lions. And this time, uncharacteristic of Dominique Washington, that dig goes out of bounds. Yep, they're attacking her. A lot of times the servers will go in and try to take out the best hitter, make them have to pass. And Dominique. Gomez gets the save on that one. Washington again hits the net, but kept alive by Robinson. Trying again for Dominique. And that one hits and is long points for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And now what started off as 12 to 6, now is 13 to 12, one point deficit now for Pine Bluff. Gomez with the kill, and we're all tied up at 13, and the grit of this Pine Bluff team is starting to show. Yes, it is. That is seven straight points that they've made. So they are seven points to their to FAMU's one. Akamini still on serve. Good job on the back line. Washington smartly hits it over. Good block again, but out of bounds. Another point for Pine Bluff, and they have their lead, 14-13. First lead since they scored the first point. That is Pine eight straight four. points for Arkansas Pine Bluff. They've got some energy, some momentum on their side, and let's see how long they can keep that. What is uh, fam you going to do at this moment? Timeout is called. We'll take a break with them. With Pine Bluff with a one-point lead here in the opening set of the second semifinal. Swag Volleyball on the Swag Digital Network. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with SafePilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh... 
87. It should be between five and 12 digits. Ah, busted. This is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. Fourteen, thirteen, in favor of the upstart Arkansas Pine Bluff Lady Lions, and they've done this before. Yes, they've come back before, and uh, they work very hard. They keep their energy level up, their momentum going. Nothing seemed to shake them. Washington just pushes it over. Robinson with a big hit on the kill attempt of Gomez right there with the dink and the kill, and she says, "No, no, 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 no. not in here." I love their energy level. And it doesn't hurt that Gomez stands at six foot two. That don't hurt at all. Service ace point again for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Wake up time for FAMU if they're gonna try to stay in this match. This is true. They are serving um, number 16, Dominique Washington. They've served her the last eight or nine balls. Another point, Kayla Robinson with the kill, just got it over the block. And for Dominique Washington, she knew that the pressure would be on. I don't know if she expected it to be like this. Exactly. I don't think she expect, expected that, this and that they would serve her and come to her. They're going after her. And now she tries a power hit. But a block point for Florida a &M. She She hit it off the block, and so fam, you gets the point on that. But they sent the message. They sent the message. Just a long serving for Florida a &M. Big hit, goes to the back level, trying to keep it alive. Florida a &M does, long. Will dig, dig it over. Big hit, but a block goes out. Point, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Good play there by Jaden James. Kayla Robinson now serving. Big hit, big play, Jaden James with another point. That is a nice ball she hit high off those hands, just trying to find those hands and make that ball go and deflect off of them, and she was successful when she did it. Kayla Robinson serving for Pine Bluff, the redshirt junior transfer from VCU. Good on the back line there for Pine Bluff, big hit by Thomas, and it goes out another point for Arkansas Pine Bluff, and you can see the grit from Coach Lucas's ball club. And the energy from the team, everybody from the bench to the coaches, everybody is excited about that ball. They feel as if it's unfinished business because they earned the right to make it to the finals due to COVID. They were unable to have a shot at Jackson State, and they want that shot. They want that shot. And they're going after it. Robinson still on serve. And a big hit, big play, big point for Florida A&M. Great play there by Isis Williams. Yes, yeah, she made herself available. The pass was perfect to the target. Gave her all the options to set the one or the outside. Down by five of the Rattlers. And that one goes long point, Arkansas Pine Bluff. And the momentum definitely still in favor of the black and gold. Yes, it is. They are working hard to keep that momentum on their side of the court, too. Gomez with the serve. And that one goes around, and Gomez unable to go after it. Going for Florida A&M. Good block there. 
Now Dominique Washington to serve for the Rattlers. And a big hit, big point. They needed that one. Yep, that was a big ball for Pham Youth. She had a one-on-one -on -one block and she executed. Jasmine Robinson on the kill. Another big hit, but that oh. one goes long. That's point for Pine Bluff. That one goes long. That's a ball that you want to put down whenever that ball comes over set to you. You want to get up early and put that away. <laughs> Nicole Akamini to serve for Pine Bluff as they have a 22-17 lead here in the opening set. Isis with the kill. Isis Williams with another kill. Yep, the setter found her. She went behind instead of going in front this time. Turner on the serve for Florida and M. Point for Florida and M. Turner will stay on serve. Yep, she was going long trying to find that baseline. Another big block by Arkansas Pine Bluff. Destiny Thomas along with Corey Diego. Yeah, that was a huge block. And some people are just tuning in to the Swag Digital Network. You may be in a little bit of shock. Might be in a little bit of shock. They probably did not expect this. During the regular season, October 31st, it was all Florida A&M, three games to none, three sets to none in the match. Point for Florida A&M. But the one stat that I saw in their second set, Pine Bluff started off with a four to nothing lead in points, and then they sort of fell apart. fell apart. So they knew they could play with them, but now can they have that level of intensity for the entire match? And we're starting to see it right now. With a good play there by Zion Smith. Twenty-four twenty. Set point for the Lions. Point for Florida and M. They stay alive in this set. Jasmine Robinson with the big hit. And now she'll serve. Oh. Into the net, and the first set goes to the black and gold of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Yeah, that was a good match. Arkansas Pine Bluff just kept pushing away, pushing away, pushing away at the points. And I think uh, Fam U kind of got a little nervous. No doubt about it. First set goes to Pine Bluff. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll get you ready for set number two. We'll see if Florida and m can communicate and make it. Stand by. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. DIY means having the right tools. But at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery's a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Fuel your grind. 
with Gatorade's proven formula. And the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. For back to school and back to the field, head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with Safe Pilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh, 87. It should be between 5 and 12 digits. Ah, busted. This is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. Welcome back to Elmore Gymnasium here on the campus of Alabama A&M. One set lead now for Arkansas Pine Bluff in a bit of a surprise during the regular season. Coach Lucas Ball Club fell three sets to none to the Rattlers. But right now it is the Black and Gold who has the lead. James Barrett along with Rose Majors Powell and Coach Powell, this has been a, a situation where good play by Pine Bluff, great emotion, has sort of caught FAMU off guard. Yeah, I think it did catch them off guard, and they everybody knows that Arkansas Pine Bluff is a team that communicates well, talks a lot, really try to push you back, try to make you change what you've been doing, mm -hmm. and the communication has done that for them. FAMU serving, Gomez with a big hit. Washington trying to get a kill. Pine Bluff not having it. Robinson gets it across. And then that kill opportunity goes into the net. Point again for Pine Bluff. And Acme will serve for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Going right back to Dominique Washington. And a good kill opportunity oh, there, successful right by Alexis Mann. Yeah, big kill for her running that slide. The block was split. She took advantage of it. 6-1 redshirt junior out of Ohio. Big hit and a kill. Great opportunity there, and they cash in Jason James once again. Yep. Works through the block to get the point, serving Kayla Robinson. Gomez just pushes it over. Washington trying to get a kill, but good backside defense by Pine Bluff. But then on the other side, Ukar with the kill. Very nice dig, very nice swing, and combination by uh, Dominique Washington and Ukar. 
You car serving. Gomez hits it long. Point for Florida and M. Don't see that too often on Gomez. She's good at finding the court. Lucar still serving for Florida and M all with a one point lead. Good defense on the back side. Good block, but keeping it alive is Pine Bluff. Thomas gets it over, and they get the point. Great job there by Destiny Thomas. Defense was unable to keep it alive for Florida and M. The upsetter was already headed toward that setting position and couldn't get back. Gomez on the serve. Washington now on the near side of the court. That one goes long but tipped by Pine Bluff. Point for Florida and M. Dominic Washington to serve for the Rattlers as it's all tied up. Check that one point lead for Florida and M. 4 3. And a point for the Rattlers. A heads up play. She just pushed that ball right over to a position where nobody was standing. Another big hit and another big point for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Jaden James is stepping up and showing 5-7. Doesn't mean that you're short. No, doesn't mean anything if you're short. <laughs> Just got to jump and be confident in what you're doing out there on the floor. And she's definitely confident, the young lady out of Chandler, Arizona. Good block again by Arkansas Pine Bluff. They have used that block mechanism very well. Yes, she did. She uh, turned that ball, pressed that ball right back into the center of the court, and no one was there to receive. Zion Smith and Destiny Thomas, a dynamic duo with Akameen serving, all tied up at five. Isis Williams hits it. It goes long point for Pine Bluff. Big hit, Akamini hits it to try to save it on the dig, but it goes out. Serving for Florida and M. Kaylin Blathers. Big hit. Goes long, but tipped by Florida and M. Point for Pine Bluff. Yep, touch off the block. Nyla Ellis now serving for Pine Bluff. Up by one. And a big hit and a kill for Florida AM. Jasmine Robinson. Yeah, that was a big swing by, by her, a big ball. Jacobs to serve for the Rattlers. And that goes out, point, Pine Bluff. Back and forth we go with Zion Smith serving.
missed serve right in the in the net. Now this one is getting a little closer than the way that we thought it would be. First set, it was all Arkansas Pine Bluff. Now we're starting to see a little grit coming from Florida A&M with Turner to serve. And a good block there by Dominique Washington. Point for Florida a &M. Yeah, that gives them a little bit of energy at this point. Now, uh, Arkansas Pine Buff got to handle that first ball. And another kick. Oh, they get it up against the net and point for Pine Bluff. Good defensive effort by FAMU. Cora Diego gets the point, and she'll go to the side as she gets a lot of people giving her some high fives. All tied up at nine, Akamini to serve. Washington hits a ace strike kill right down the side. Yep, right. She went right over the top of that block. Just along the serve for the Rattlers. Isis Williams coming back in for Florida and M. Blathers goes to the side. And long serve goes long point for Pine Bluff. It's all tied up at 10. Sometimes that miss serve just takes the win right out of you. Robinson to serve. Isis tips it over. Big hit there by Arkansas Pine Bluff, but they're gonna keep it alive. Destiny Thomas gets it over. Washington's gonna keep it alive for the Rattlers. Gomez, it's in, a great kill, and another point for Pine Bluff. Robinson on serve as the Lions are up one. Washington, a good kill opportunity, but good defense on the backside. Good push over by Pine Bluff. Once again, good defense by the black and gold. Thomas gets it over. And then, wow, great play by Ukar. That was a good play by her. The, the rally was going and going, and everybody now is backing up a little bit, backing up a little bit, and she just took that ball and put it in the center of the court. <laughs> no one's there. No one's on. Redshirt Jr. out of Turkey. Big hit and a big point for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Jaden James once again on the kill. We t talked about it earlier about the block not sealing off that net well, and if you have some space in there, that ball will get in between you. Kaylee Gomez to serve, and that one goes long and out point, and we're still all tied up now at 12. Dominic Washington, third best kill specialist in the game. She's third nationally in kills. Now she's trying to get a service ace here in the second set, down one set to none. Hits it big, it's coming off the goal. Gonna keep it alive, and they do. Big hit by Pine Bluff. And a kill shot right there. Big point by Jasmine Robinson. That was a good rally. Washington to serve. Oh 
And a good kill by Destiny Thomas. And you can see everybody out there celebrating. They got to go back to their bench. A lot of celebration by Bench from Arkansas Pine Bluff. Marina Dorado Yepes to serve for Pine Bluff. And a big kill opportunity there, but the block, but the dig goes out of bounds. Point for Florida and M. This match is turning into a marathon it already, has. and it's just it the second has. set. They're battling in one point at a time. That one goes out. Brianna August on the serve. And now trying to get a little distance from Arkansas Pine Bluff is Florida and m Timeout is called. We'll take a timeout with them, 15-13 in the second set. But Brianna August with the big play. And we'll take a break. We'll come right back. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. For back to school and back to the field, head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. Second set has been sort of a marathon back and forth we go. Ooh. And this time, a mistake by Floyd a and gives the point to Arkansas Pine Bluff. A little bit of a miscommunication, I'm guessing. Nyla Ellis serving for Pine Bluff. Good defense on the backside for the Lions. They're going to keep it alive with Ellis with the dig. And that strike goes long. Point for Florida and m Zion Smith just hit it a little bit too long. Yep. Emerald Jacobs to serve now for the Rattlers. And that dig goes out of bounds, point for a and m. A serve by the. Yes, another A serve. And so far today, three aces so far for Florida a and m And another kill opportunity for Zion Smith, point for the Lions. And now Zion will serve. Washington with a good dig. Just saved. Yes, she did save that one. Kayla gets it right over. Washington from the backside hits it long. Point for Pine Bluff. She doesn't seem too comfortable on that back line. No, she's struggling a little bit today. Zion Smith still on serve. 
Good ball. And another big hit and a kill for Jasmine Robinson. That was a very nice set by the setter. And she's just a freshman, so at least three more years to go for Jasmine Robinson. <laughs> Turn of the serve. And another big hit and another big point for Arkansas behind the for Diego with the kill. Yeah, that was a big point. She went in and just went after that ball. She did not hesitate. Nicole Akamini to serve as their trail by one. Going right back at Dominique Washington. They're going to try to give it back to her for a kill point for Washington, and that's what she's known for. That's what she's known for. She passes and gets outside and still attacks very hard. Bucard is served. Just check that just along to serve for the Rattlers. And that one is in point for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Big point for Jaden James. That ball might have been it went out, but she just could not get out of the way. Kayla Robinson now to serve for the Lions. They trail by one. Washington, good save there by James. Robinson gets it back over, getting it up for Washington, and they block it. It goes out of bounds. Point for Fort and in. That's that experience showing on Washington right there. Going ahead, taking a big swing, hitting high on those hands, sending that ball out of bounds. Lucar to serve for the Rattlers. James just pushes it over. Washington with a big hit, but good defense there by Nyla Ellis, who carved with a good defensive dig right there. Washington gets it over. Back over to James, and she gets enough. Jake James with another kill, another point for Pine Bluff. They pull within one. Haley Gomez now to serve for the Lions. Back over to Washington, but good block. Too many hits, point for Pine Bluff. Now yep. we're all tied up at 20. They were scrambling trying to get that ball over, just couldn't get it over in three. Timeout, Florida and m will take a timeout with them. You can see the grit in Arkansas Pine Bluff. They're not looking at stats. They're just looking for dubs. We'll see if they can get the dub. Stay tuned. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. Welcome back to live action here at Elmore Gymnasium. Rose Majors Powell, the head coach of Alabama A&M, our analyst today and also the host of this tournament. I'm James Barrett. We're all tied up at 20 apiece. Gomez with a serve error oh, point for Florida A&M. Coming for the Rattlers. Back 
serving now, Dominic Washington. Trouble on that pass. Now can they convert? And a kill and a point, Emerald Jacobs. Emerald Jacobs, point, Florida Jacobs. Score now 22 to 20 in favor of Florida and M. Big hit, good save there by Ellis. Good hit again by Zion Smith, and they get a big point to keep this game close. That was some good defense being played on this court. Now they've got to sweat up, wipe up some sweat off of the court, because players are leaving it all out there. Yeah, they are. They're working hard defense they're going to the floor keeping that ball they're playing low keeping that ball off the floor on their side Jake James to serve 22 21 in favor of Pine Bluff and now it goes high through car they're going to try to dink it over And the kill and the point for Emerald Jacobs. And now coming in to serve is Kalen Blathers for the Rattlers, up by two. Zion Smith gets it across. And another point there by that young lady, Jasmine Robinson. That was a big swing, four to four. Defense person wasn't in position to dig this ball. Blathers for set point. And a good kill right there by Destiny Thomas to keep this alive. They still trail by two. They're fighting it out. Kayla Robinson comes in for Nyla Ellis. Timeout, Florida A&M. Time Florida A &M. And now Gokim Yomez trying to really talk to his team about finishing. Maybe just being patient. See see the ball clearly, what you want to do with the ball, then execute. Has a very calm demeanor yes. to say that they're in the semifinal match down one set to none. And on the other side of the court, you see Arkansas Pine Bluff. Trying to take advantage of this time to make sure they're all on the right page. <laughs> Florida and M up by two, but serving is Nyla Ellis and Pine Bluff. And the set goes to Florida and M, but no, but no, they say the point goes. It goes to, it goes to Florida and M. Just checking to make sure, and a good play there by Jasmine Robinson. They thought maybe it was up still. So we're all tied up in one set apiece. We will take a long break and we'll see who can win the most crucial third set. You're watching SWAC Volleyball right here on the SWAC Digital Network.
Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. DIY means having the right tools, but at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery is a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY, this is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot, how doers get more done. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes, our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with SafePilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh, 87. It should be between five and 12 digits. Ah, busted. This is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. For back to school and back to the field, head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes, our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Welcome back to Elmore Gymnasium on the campus of Alabama A&M. James Red, along with Rose Majors Powell, the head coach for Alabama A&M and also the host of the 2021 Swag Volleyball Tournament. We are tied at one set apiece. We've seen both teams play 
pretty much well in each of their winning sets. Yes, they have. And this third set is going to be a big, um, a big game for them. We're going to see how they all start. That start is going to be very critical, I believe. Nicole Akamini <coughs> will serve for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Washington did not do a great job on digging it out, but they keep it alive. Big hit there, and nobody's there to recover. Big point for Jaden James, and we've got a player down. Looks like Turner for Florida A&M may have got hit in the eye may by hand. Hit him. May have got the ball may have came off her came off her hand and hit her in the face. Yeah, that ball came off of the the ball came off the defense person's hand and hit her in the face. Wow, <coughs> hurt off the ricochet. Hey, hurt off the ricochet, and if it got her eye, you know, it kind of put a kind of rubbed that eye up forward. Good block, but point it goes out. <laughs> point in favor of Florida and M. Just a long serving for the Rattlers. Gomez tries to push it over, but she pushes it directly into the net. Yeah, just didn't get that up and over. Was trying to take advantage of that service, serving from very deep and then trying to get in to play defense. James hits it long, another point now for Florida and m They're calling that ball long, no touch. Up two are the Rattlers. Trying to set up Washington. James right there with a good dig. Zion Smith hits it directly into the net. Four straight points now for. Hadn't seen much back row attack out of Arkansas Pine Bluff. They tried to get that one in there, but she just didn't clear the net. That's true. Long to serve. And this one goes out of bounds. Robinson dig did not go the way she wanted it to go. Yep. Serving that ball from such a long distance can make it very difficult. Gomez, and it's on the line. Post point for Pine Bluff. She thought that ball was going out. Robinson is served now for Arkansas Pine Bluff. They trail by three. Ice is Williams right there with the kill. Right off that block. Ucar is served now for Florida and m up by four. Washington with a kill, and that's what she's known for. That's why she's one of the best in the country. I almost saw a little bit of miscommunication right there from FAMU. Let that ball go. Five-point deficit now by Arkansas Pine Bluff, and they're going to call a timeout after this play and a kill by Washington. We'll take a break with them. When we come back, we'll see if the Rattlers can go up two sets to one right here on the Swag Digital Network. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness.
Now coming out of the timeout called by Pine Bluff, who card to serve for Florida and M. Kill by James Point for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Gomez to serve. Just touches the top of the net, but gets over Isis Williams with another kill. She made herself available to attack. Now coming in, Jasmine Williams, along with Isis on that front line. Washington to serve. Thomas with a nice kill attempt, but Washington right there with the dig. Lions keeping it alive. James with another kill. Very, James. very nice combination by them. Their first point after five straight by Florida and M. Vanessa Collins now serving for Pine Bluff. Mm. Into the net, easy point for the Rattlers. Now she's got to regroup and come back and deliver a good ball. Blathers to serve. <laughs> and right back to Pine Bluff after the mistake by Floyd and M. Gave it right back to him. Corey Diego, Diego, Diego and Zakia Jones in for Pine Bluff. Nyla Ellis on the serve. Good block there by James Corey and Diego. Diego. Down by three now are the Lions. Ellis taking her time to serve. And Zion Smith gets the point off of the strategic hit across. Nice little row shot over the block. Now the lead is only two. Florida and M now calls a timeout here in the third set, all tied up in one set apiece. And Arkansas Pine Bluff just kind of picked it away. They stayed focused and just kept pushing at it. We'll take a break. We come back. We'll see if the momentum shift will stay with Pine Bluff or go back to Florida and M. You're watching Swag Volleyball on the Swag Digital Network. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. Nyla Ellis to serve for the Lions. They trail by two. And a big hit and big connection by Jasmine Robinson for the point.
Emerald Jacobs serving for Florida and M. Good ball. And that one goes out point for Florida and M. Jasmine Robinson again with the point. She hit high off that block, and nobody can catch up with that ball. When you're hitting high and that ball is deflecting off, you never really know where it's going to go to. Rattlers on the serve. Good save there by Ellis. Trying to keep it alive. Trying to get it over quick. Ellis right there with a good dig. Good block there by Florida A&M. And Cora Diego gets it over, but now setting it up for Washington. She just dips it over the net. Good rally here between the two teams. Good block again, and a good point. Corey Diego with the block. That was a good rally, and the block was patient, just waiting on that ball. They got there in position very well, just waited on it. Zion Smith now to serve as the Lions trail by three. Good block there by Pine Bluff to keep it alive. And this time, going up against Robinson. Robinson gets the win on that point. Turner now to serve for Florida and m Freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia. And she hits it long. Point, point for Pine Bluff. Returning. Number nine, Nicole for Diego. Number 23. Substitution. James comes back in. Akamini comes back in for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And Akamini will serve. And a big hit, big play by the Rattlers. Another kill there. Alexis Mann with her first kill of the day. Florida and m going deep into their bench, something they normally don't do. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's nice to get some production out of a bench, out of a person coming off the bench. Point for Florida and m James thought that she had it, but it was a point for the Rattlers. James, this time it goes long again. Point for the Rattlers. Timeout is called. 15 to 9 is your score. And it's all Rattlers right now. Can Pine Bluff get the momentum? We will see. Stay tuned right here on the SWAC Digital Network. DIY means having the right tools, but at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery's a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. For back to school and back to the field, head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. Back to live action. Just a long serving for Florida and M.
official talking to the head coach for Pine Bluff, Chelsea Lucas. Gomez, kill attempt, and the dig goes out of bounds. Point for Pine Bluff. Zakia Jones to serve now for the Lions. Big serve Big by serve. Jones. Isis Williams answers with a killer temper of her own. James hits it back over. And into the net is Dominique Washington oh, on her killer temp point for Pine Bluff. That was a big serve by her. No doubt about it. Hadn't seen that top spin serve the whole match. Zakia Jones, a freshman out of Memphis, Tennessee. And in for the eighth great serve by the freshman. Zakia Trailing by three. Washington with the kill and the point. Bukar to serve now for Florida and M as they're up by four. Gomez. And Gomez to get the point. Trailing by four. Still a lot of fight there for Arkansas Pine Bluff. They keep the energy going. They get a lot of energy from their bench. They keep them motivated. Gomez serving. Isis. Tries to just dig it across oh, into the net I point for Pine Bluff. Sixteen fourteen now, trailing only by two. Good block again. James along with Thomas. That front line playing well for Pine Bluff. They're grabbing, trying to grab hold to that momentum and keep it on their side of the floor. Now the Rattlers call a timeout. We'll take one with them, but the momentum now has shifted back toward the black and gold. You're watching Swag Volleyball on the Swag Digital Network. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> The more phone, more fun, Mega Sale. Mega! Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAT, building champions for life. Haley Gomez to serve for Pine Bluff as they trail by one here in the third set. Point, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Ball outside of the antenna. So the block was there, but she didn't have to really do anything. Tied up now at 16.
Washington drives to dip it across, and it does find its way across the point for Florida and M. That was just a little luck, I believe. Oh, yes. I think everybody had a chance to touch that one before it went over. Dominique Washington to serve. Out. All oh. right on her foot by Nyla Ellis and point for Florida and L. And she was trying to get out of that, out of the way. Big block there by Florida and M, but Pine Bluff keeps it alive. And that one will go out. Akamini tried her best to keep it alive on the dig, but it went long. Yeah, there was nothing she could do with that ball. She was on the inside of it, and it was hit to the uh, sideline, so she needed to be a little bit more round on this ball to handle that ball better. Good block again. Isis Williams right there with the block point for Florida and m And a kill by Zion Smith. And now the momentum starting to swing back in favor of Pine Bluff. She had a one-on-one -on -one block at that point. All hitters in this conference should be able to hit around this one-on-one -on -one block. Setter did a good job holding the middle blocker. And it looks like we got a substitution issue. Looks like they may have ran out of substitutions. What they got? Coming now for the COVID line, number seven, Corey Diego. Oh, no. At number four, Vanessa Collins. In for Jamie Jay. Maybe they ran in too soon. And they're just trying to make sure. Officials are checking with the scores table. And point goes to Florida and M. An eagle eagle. So was it an illegal e substitution? Illegal substitution, giving the Rattlers the ball and the point. Wow. That's a heartbreaker right there. No doubt. <coughs> Blather is serving. Big hit by Destiny. Point for Pine Bluff. Now Naya Ellis serving. And a big hit there by Corey Diego for the point. Two point deficit now for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Ellis to serve.
big hit and a big kill by Jasmine Robinson. That was a big swing by her, point. big ball, big Bar point. That was a nice pass by her. She held the middle blocker and she was able to put this ball away. Zion Smith with the tip over for the point. And now Dominique Washington is trying to get an explanation because the one official said in, the other said out. Yeah, one, one thought it was up and one thought it was not and the, the head referee said it was down. Mm -hmm. Zion Smith serving for the Lions. Block and point for Pine Bluff, and now they've closed within two. Yeah, she was trying to hit this ball off the hands and crossbody it out of bounds, but just didn't get it. Diego with the kill. And once again, Pine Bluff on a run, and they've Tied it up at 22 apiece. Yeah, their energy level never stops. Smith still on serve. And another big hit just when the Rattlers needed Jasmine Robinson. That was a good set. The hitter was in good rhythm, a good rhythm set. She was able to go right past that block. Turner to serve for the Rattlers. Diego gets it across, but barely. Washington gets it off of the shoulder of Diego. Big block again by Florida A&M, and they get the point. That was a big block by them, pushing them to 24. Set point now for the Rattlers. And a big hit by Zakia Jones, keeps it alive. 24-23 now, still in favor of Florida and m Substitution, James and Akamini in, Diego and Collins out. Akamini now to serve for the Lions. Barely got it over his pine bluff, keeping it alive. Good block, and it goes into the net. Point for Florida a and and they win set number three, and they're one set away from making it to their first SWAC Volleyball Tournament final. That was a good swing by her. They're working very hard. Arkansas Pine Bluff is still pushing. They're not giving up on anything right now, and I think they'll come back in this next set and still push them again. We'll take a break. We'll see if Florida and m can close it out, or will Pine Bluff push for a fifth set right here on the SWAC Digital Network. DIY means having the right tools, but at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery's a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. 
for back to school and back to the field. Head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with Safe Pilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh, 87. It should be between 5 and 12 digits. Ah, busted. This is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. I was sitting down over there. Welcome back to live action. Set number four. We've seen Arkansas Pine Bluff shot Florida AM to win the first set. And we've seen Florida AM come back and win set number two and set number three. Now it's a matter of can Pine Bluff for a fifth set or will Florida AM walk away and punch their ticket to the final? We'll see where this match starts at. Diego with the first kill. Point number one goes to Pineville. Substitution, Diego goes out. Mitchell goes out. I mean, Collins goes out. Akamini and James comes in. Akamini on the serve. Big hit and goes out point for Pine Bluff. And that was as Alexi Mann right there on the attempted at kill that just went into the stands. Akamini now with a two point lead serving. James with the kill attempt to oh. dig in defense on the back row by Long. Good ball. And wow, what a kill attempt. Goes into the stands. Ellis did her best to try to dig it out. But she, she, did. she did. She did a nice job trying to get in there and get that ball up and out of there. I mean, that ball had to be going about 90 miles an hour. <laughs> well, she wasn't afraid. No, she was not. Good dink over by Gomez. Dominique again, she'll just push it over. Ellis now trying to set something up. And Jones hits it, it's in point for Pine Bluff and it was off the tip. They call it a touch off the block, off the defense. Oh yeah. Up two and now Zakia Jones, the freshman from Memphis with a powerful serve. Isis Williams. Rattler Royalty is her name. Bukar to serve for the Rattlers. Big hit by James, and that kill is successful. 
Very nice ball. I'm just impressed. She's 5'7", and she jumps like she's 6'5". She gets out of the gym. She jumps up there and takes a big swing on the ball, not being afraid at all. And that hit goes long. They're trying to say it was a tip. No. Pine Bluff with the point. Isis tips it over. And a good hit there by Zion Smith. The fresh, the sophomore out of Fort Worth. Yep, she just hit this ball right off the top of those hands and it deflected a little bit and nobody could get to it. Take one more look at it. And Zion Smith with a nice kill. And just a reminder for all the fans tuning in, for Arkansas Pine Bluff, this is their second straight trip to the semifinals. They made it to the finals last year, but due to COVID-19 protocols, they were forced to not be allowed to compete in the finals against Jackson State. Jackson State was able to bring home that trophy. And for Pine Bluff, they want to have another opportunity to get a first shot at a title. Yep, unfinished business for them, I'm guessing, today. No doubt about it. But right now, they've got to win this set just to have a chance at the final. And for Florida a &M, their first year in the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and they're trying to prove that volleyball from the East is just as good as volleyball in the West. They are, they are. They're working hard. Gomez to serve. And into the net point for Arkansas Pine Bluff. That lead now is extending to five. Good kill there by Dominic Washington. One of the best in the country at doing that job right there. Good swing. Her arm rotation is just outstanding. And she's got a lot of power. Yes, she does. Big that hit by Zion Smith for the kill. That was a very difficult ball to hit, but she hit that corner and it was very nice hit in that four to four zone. The block had to shift it all the way over to take the line away. She went cross court hard. Vanessa Collins in and will serve for the Lady Lions. Collins from Honolulu, Hawaii. Block and it goes through point for the Rattlers. Jacobs with the point. Man comes in. Blathers will serve. Florida and M trails by four, eight to four. Good hit there and kill by Zion Smith. Very nice roll shot into the center of the court. Nobody home. That ball is a difficult ball to take care of and defend, but it can be taken care of. Coach Powell, when you think about recruiting domestically, you go to tournaments, internationally, how do you go out and recruit those athletes? They send a lot of video and they have handlers that can call us and send us emails to tell us about those kids. Okay. Now, do they have some when you call them and say, hey, we want you to come, they're like, okay, where's Huntsville? Where's A&M? 
And what is the HBCU? They do. They <laughs> want to know all those questions right there. This, where is Huntsville, Alabama? And what do you have to offer for me? And where, what am I going to do when I get there? You know? And is there a community that I can <laughs> hang out with? Right, right. So as a coach, you've got to make sure all those boxes are checked. Yes, you do. You have to make sure all those boxes are checked. Make sure that their English is well enough that they can make it in the classroom. Make, the, make sure that their degree that they're looking for is available for them. Time out on the court. 11 to 4 is the score in favor of Pine Bluff here in the 4 7. We'll take a break. We come back. We'll see if Pine Bluff can force a set number five right here on the Swag Digital Network. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stan. Oh, mom. You're the cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Back to live action. 11-4 in favor of Pine Bluff. Zion Smith serving for the Lady Lions. Big hit, Ellis tried to keep it in, but a point for Jasmine Robinson. Point for Jacob serving for the Rattlers. Destiny volleys it across. Dominique trying to go for a kill on the back row. Point, Point, Florida and M. Jacob still on serve. Goes into the Point. net. Point, Florida and M. And now they're starting to claw their way or slither their way back into this. Yeah, UAPB called timeout maybe to slow that momentum down from FAMU. Taking one more look at the replay. Goes right into the net. Yeah, you don't see many back row attacks from Arkansas Pine Bluff. So this season, pretty good. We had a number of teams play Auburn and beat Auburn during the regular season. Yes, we did have a couple of teams in, a, in the SWAC that beat Auburn. And we're getting stronger. The SWAC teams across the board are getting much, much stronger. What do you think it's going to take to see them go from uh, a team that just makes the tournament to a team that can make some noise in the tournament? I think if we just keep growing, everybody across the board, if we just keep growing, the coaching staffs are strong. The players are getting strong. And just playing major competition early on, they'll be able to eventually start taking some of those matches or sets off of some of those bigger teams. What will be the after effect when you look at Power 5 teams? They're merging, getting larger. Are they still going to have games available for Alabama A&M and Pine Bluff and to play those Power 5 teams? There will be. We have those first four weekends that we all go out and we play some of those Power Five teams and stuff like that, so we can prepare for um, for the SWAC. And then if that team, whoever wins our conference, have played some of those bigger teams, now you know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Now I remember years ago the SWAC and the MEAC used to play against each other in some tournaments many moons ago. We are coming back with that, and ah. it will be at Alabama State this year. And I've played in it, Penn coach. White has played in it at Alabama State. Coach Jack um, Washington, we all kind of go and play in that uh, SWAG NEAC championship. Good, good, good. Good to see that. Oh. 
Good defense there by Ellis on the back side. Mm. Into the net point, Florida and m and they are creeping back in this one. Yeah, that was just a little bit of a miss hit for her. To just kind of missed it on the hand. Didn't get a full hand on the ball to spin that ball back into the court. Turner serving for the Rattlers. <coughs> Diego receives the block, and another big hit there. Block goes out of bounds. Point for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Zakia Jones with the big hit. They called her in the net too. Yeah. Ah. Collins, check that Akamini serving for Pine Bluff. Good job of getting it across the net, finding a hole, but right there to cover it up and getting it over. But point for Florida and M, four touches. Yeah, they call it four touches. It hit two people. FAMU is trying to inch their way back in it. Down 13 to nine of the Rattlers. Dominique, but this time a big block by Haley Gomez and point for Pine Bluff. That was a big block. Zakia Jones serving for the Lions. Long and out point, Florida and M. Bukar to serve for the Rattlers. James with a kill attempt. Good defense by Turner on the back side. That one off of Pine Bluff. Thank you. Bukar to serve. Turner with a good save, dig right there. And battling on the net, but Florida and M comes out with the point. That was a battle at the net. Down by two now, battling themselves back are the Rattlers, who car still on serve. And another big block, Washington and Isis Williams with the play. They just, both blockers just reached in to close off that hole. Only trailing by one now are the Rattlers. Gomez gets it across. Trying to set it up for Washington. Good block there by Smith along with Gomez. Point goes to FAMU. The but ball is blocked out. FAMU. And it's tied up by 14. Tied. Momentum now is shifted toward the Rattlers. When we come back, we'll see if Pine Bluff can get the momentum back or will Florida and him punch their ticket to the SWAC final right here on the SWAC Digital Network. DIY means having the right tools, but at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery's a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY, this is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. 
How doers get more done. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula and the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. Back to live action. Tied at 14 apiece. Ukar continuing to serve for the Rattlers. James, big block there by Florida and m as James had a kill attempt and Isis was right there to put a stop to it. You can see on the faces of FAMU that they're back smiling again. No doubt about it. Bukar has been on serve the entire comeback by Florida and m And Zion Smith with the kill. Tie it back up at 15. That was a good swing by her. The line was open. She took it. Gomez serving. And that one just didn't go the way that Dominique Washington wanted. Now, Zion Smith with the kill attempt, getting it across the net. Akamini keeps it alive for Pine Bluff. James tries to slowly but surely bring it across. Oh, well done, but eight point eight for Florida and M. That was just a little bit of a mishit. Hank Ball never did get in the hand well. Up by one now are the Rattlers. Big hit, mm. and it goes out by Smith. Yeah. Point for Florida and M. And now the rally is continuing on for the Raptors. Dominique Washington, the grad transfer out of Georgia Tech, oh. gets a service ace. Point, Florida That was a critical point. Yeah, you can see Florida a and is starting to smile a little bit more, getting a little bit more energy for themselves. And a huge kill by Jasmine Robinson. She has really been a star in today's match. The freshman out of Fleming Island, Florida. Zion Smith, ice is right there with a the big block, oh, and it looks so like she hit the net. She was, <laughs> she was in the net, got excited, got excited. Oh yes, got in a hurry. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I hit the net. <laughs> Vanessa Collins serving for the Lions. Into the net and a point for the black and gold of Arkansas Pine Bluff. They trail by two. Their season is in the balance. Collins serving. Good dig to bring it out by Pine Bluff. Smith hits it to the back row. Good block again. Corey and Thomas, that combination works well. Very nice block by them. The block is sitting there waiting. They're fully penetrated over, high hands. Pressing that ball to the center of the court. She just dips it across and oh. gets it over. Jasmine Robinson with a nice touch hit over. 
sometimes you don't have to have that big swing. Just put it in a position where the team is not. No doubt about it. Five points away from punching their ticket are the Rattlers of Florida and M. Bladders, Blathers serving. Good block by Robinson and Mann. Four points away. Blather still serving. Bukar with a good dig in the back. Oh. And point, Zion Smith. Again, just a little ball and over, not a big swing. Got him back on their heels. Gomez goes out. Coming in is Takia Jones. Trying to get the sweat up. They're working hard out there. Zion Smith to serve for Pine Bluff. Robinson with a big hit. Zion Smith with a good dig on the back row. Good block there. And a point for Arkansas Pine Bluff, Destiny Thomas, the young lady out of Brobridge. That Indiana, was a good block. Nobody kick. could get to that ball. Correct. One point separates Pine Bluff and Florida a and Smith on the serve. Point for Florida a and they got those got Arkansas Pine Bluff back on their heels, and that short ball is putting them in trouble. Three points away to punch in their ticket are the Rattlers. And that one goes long point for Florida and m They can definitely feel it. Yep, that swing was there for her. She just went long with it. Jacob serving. Dominique Washington, good save there on the back side. Jones gets it across, oh. and it goes into the net point for Pine Bluff. Two points separate Pine Bluff from FAMU. Ellis to serve. Big hit by Robinson. Good save there by Washington. Robinson again. Diego with the big hit. Washington right there with the dig. And Washington right oh. now putting it over. But Pine Bluff keeps it alive. Good rally here between the two teams. Diego with the kill. Point, Corey Diego. They were patient. They kept moving the ball around from one position to the next. Then finally found that opening. Cora Diego finds the hole. One point separates FAMU and Pine Bluff. Ellis on the serve. Cora Diego with the oh block my. and putting it back down. Tied up at 23. Tied up, tied up. Ellis still serving 
for Pine Bluff. They don't want to go home. Robinson pushes it over. Gomez. Robinson, big hit. Oh, in the net. In the net point, Florida a and &M. Who was in the net? Arkansas Pine Bluff was called oh. in the net. This is for the match. Turner. And staying alive. Zakia Jones says staying we're not alive. going home yet. They're staying alive. They're fighting it. They're gutting it out. This team from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, saying they don't want to go home. All tied up at 24, down two sets to one, trying to keep their season alive. Akamini serving, getting it over to Washington. She gets it over. Akamini once again with a good save. And point. A little bit of miscommunication there, ran into each other. Both people going in for the same ball. Went in and met Jones and James just bumped into each other. Two freshmen. That may not happen again. This is for the match. Oh, and it's all tied up now at 25. Oh. oh, the pressure is on. The pressure is on. Washington had it. She just, just struck it the wrong way. She just got in a hurry. Zakia Jones on the serve. Back over to Washington. Hits it over is Zion Smith. And a point <laughs> for Arkansas Pine Bluff. They won't go away. No, I think they caught her on a back row attack. That she was on the line and went over. Up one now. They flipped the script. Isis oh, game. just tips it over. Big hit. Keeping it alive is Florida and m Washington with the hit. James gets it over. Washington with a big hit. And it's all tied up now at 26. They're playing it one ball at a time. Wow. Maybe the best fourth set we've had in this tournament. I believe you could be right there. Ukar to serve. Good hit by Gomez. They're up one, trying to keep their season alive. Haley Gomez out of California. Steps up big with the kill. That was a good kill by her, good call. She wanted that ball. You could see her talking all the way through. Washington with a big hit, Gomez. Good dig to keep it alive after the block. Setting it up for Washington. Point. And now we start to see a little swagger from Washington. She's like, okay, I got this now. Yeah. That experience shows up whenever that's, it comes winning time or point time. She goes in and goes hard after it. All tied up at 27. Good oh. dig there by Washington to bring it out of the back row. And a good oh. one right there by Zion Smith. Now they're back That off-speed shot was good. That off-speed. 
right off of Ukar's face. Jaden James now to serve. And they won it. Four set goals to Arkansas Pine Bluff. Now we will have a fifth and deciding set for the second straight semifinal. Jaden James with the serve. Yep. And Robinson just couldn't handle it. She this just, team won't go away. They won't go away. Arkansas Pine Bluff kept pushing, kept kept going at it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and then finally found that open spot to finish it up. We'll take a break. All tied up in two sets apiece right here on the SWAT Digital Network. <laughs> Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. DIY means having the right tools. But at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery's a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula. And the right blend of electrolytes to help you on your journey to greatness. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with SafePilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh, 87. It should be between 5 and 12 digits. Ah, busted. This is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. Academy Sports and Outdoors is your Nike headquarters. We are proud to offer the best and newest Nike apparel, footwear, and sports equipment. From football to baseball, basketball to soccer, and everything in between, Academy is your place for Nike. For back to school and back to the field, head to toe, your home for Nike is Academy Sports and Outdoors. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Up, All right. Back to live action. We're all tied up in two sets apiece. Fifth and deciding set. Winner moves on to take on Jackson State in the conference final tomorrow on ESPN+. Plus. Before tonight, the newcomer, Florida a and taking on the team with unfinished business in Arkansas Pine Bluff. James Red along with Rose Major Powell, who is the hostess with the mostess right here in Alabama A&M, the head coach of the Lady Bulldogs. And what we've seen is <clears throat> this match is going all the way down. Everything's pretty much even. It's going down to the wire. Everything is even. Hitting percentage, block percentage, kill percentage, set assist. Everything is all so even. They are battling all the way to the end. Both teams had smiles on their face as they gained the momentum. Dominic Turner. 
will serve for the Rattlers to start it off going to 15. Gomez. Good play by Zakia Jones. First point goes to Pine Bluff. Diego and Akamini now in. Akamini to serve. Washington. Big hit, big kill. Evens it up at one of eight. She meant business on that ball. No doubt about it. She saw the opening and took the big swing. Good hit there by Jones. Kept alive by Florida and M. Off the head of a lion point for Florida and M. Akimini setting it up. Diego gets it across the net. And a good block by Diego and Gomez. Point, time block. And Isis Williams is down because I think she got hit in the face. With yeah, the, the ball. ball ricocheted back off the block and hit her right in the face. As they say, it's dangerous on the front line. It's so. dangerous on the front line. <laughs> she will stay in. All tied up at two. Jones serving. And off of the ricochet on the block. Point for Florida and M. Up one are the Rattlers of Tallahassee. Bukar to serve. And the block goes out of bounds. Point and point for Zion Smith. She even that pack up, getting off that block, sending that ball out of bounds. All tied up at three. Gomez to serve. Isis with the big strike and the big kill. Up one is Florida and M. Dominique Robinson to serve for the Rattlers. Oh. Off of the arms of Smith. And an ace. Arkansas Pine Bluff calls a timeout. We'll take it with them. Two sets apiece. Fifth set up two are the Rattlers right here on the Swag Digital Network. DIY means having the right tools, but at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery's a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Back to live action. 5-3 is the score in favor of Florida and M. This is the fifth and deciding set. 
Dominique Washington, serving for the Rattlers. Smith pushes it over. Oh, big hit, but good save there on the backside by Ellis. Good save there by Washington on the backside for Florida and m Now Ellis trying to set it up. Zion Smith gets it over. Robinson right there, another big hit block by Pine Bluff point for the Lions. Great defense by Arkansas Pine Bluff Libero. And now Vanessa Collins coming in to serve. Zion Smith with the strategic kill. Ties it up at five. Isis gets it over and unable to block it is Zion Smith. Point for Florida and M. Just leave that ball right between those blockers' hands. Blathers to serve now for the Rattlers. And a little, could not run into the net, ran out of real estate. That was a nice, tough serve by her. Ace for Blathers. Mm. Point, Arkansas Pine Bluff off of the serve error. Zion Smith serving for the Lions. And getting it over with just the touch of a hand. Emerald Jacobs. Up two and serving. Now it's Jacobs. Into mm. the net. That's the second miss serve. Back to back. That can kind of let the wind out of you. No doubt. Naya Ellis serving for Pine Bluff. Down by one, fifth set. Robinson with a big hit. Ellis saves it, getting it over now is Pine Bluff. Robinson again, but a big block by James and Gomez. Oh, just a touch by Robinson was all she needed to get the point. Yep, sometimes that's all you need is just a little touch. Up to now are the Rattlers Turner serving. <laughs> Washington with the kill and the point. Nice finesse ball, didn't have to take a big swing, just put it in that four to four zone, see if that player is ready to take that ball. 10-7 is your score in favor of the Rattlers. We'll take a timeout and we'll see if Gokin Yamaz will punch his ticket for his first SWAC final. We'll see after this break. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Your mom's been boasting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. 
every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Pine Bluff. Trying to avoid going home. Trying to make it to their second consecutive conference tournament final for Florida a and m Five points away from punching their ticket to their first SWAC tournament final. Dominique Turner, the freshman from Atlanta, serving for the Rattlers. Washington with the kill and the point. Turner on serve again. Mm. Trouble. James gets it across. Good ball control. Another opportunity for Pine Bluff. James gets it over and point Pine Bluff. James goes to the side along with Collins. And Kamini now to serve. Trailing by three. Washington, good block, but out point for Florida and m Isis Williams comes in for Blathers, and now serving is just a long. Hits the net point, Florida and m Two points away from punching their ticket now. That they are. Can Arkansas Pine Bluff regroup? And make a good play on this ball. And a good hit there by Jones. And Zakia Jones now to serve. The powerful freshman out of Memphis. Good block by Pine Bluff. Into the net. Point. Four hits. Four hits. Four hits. Match point, Ukar to serve. Florida and m trying to punch their ticket to the first SWAC final. Mm, and they have done it. it. Florida a and 15, Pine Bluff 9, three sets to two, and the orange and green have made it to the SWAC final, and they'll take on the reigning champion, Jackson State Lady Tiger. You have to take your hat off to Arkansas Pine Bluff. They really did come in and put up a big fight against the number two seed, against a team with a lot of experience on the court, and they still came in and did work and left it all on the floor. They've had a good season. They've had a great season, and now for Florida and m their season continues. Their season continues, and they will meet Jackson tomorrow, and that will be a showdown. No doubt about it. And the final numbers, Pine Bluff won the first set 25-21, Florida and m won the next two 25-22, 25-23, and then Pine Bluff kept it alive 29-27, and then Florida and m in the fifth set 15 to nine, and now for Golden Yamaz and his squad, they go into new territory, their first final in a new conference. Yes, but you know, they've been there before in the, in the MEAC, so 
they'll just gonna bring that experience that they have to the SWAC championships. And I think, again, it's gonna be a showdown tomorrow. Well, Coach Powell, we pulled you out in an emergency matter. How did you enjoy yourself today? I did, I enjoyed myself today. It was, you know, this is just my second day doing this. <laughs> they pulled me out of, the out of the office in the stands to come and do it, but I've enjoyed it. Good, good, good. So for Rose Majors Powell, I'm James Moret. Thank you for joining us here at Elmore Gymnasium. And it will be Jackson State taking on Florida A&M in the SWAC Volleyball Tournament Final for 2021. But today, Florida A&M defeats Arkansas Pine Bluff three sets to two. Thank you for watching the SWAC Volleyball Tournament Semifinal on the SWAC Digital Network. Good night.